Oh, oh. Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we uh, continue putting windows in. Oh. Oh. Let's get into it. One for me. Okay, so the kitchen window is coming out. We'll try and keep the dust off the bench as much as we can. Oh, yeah. Just couldn't get it out. Uh, can I get a can of coke please? Um, um, sorry we're out of coke but we do have a hammer, would you like a hammer? Well I don't have one yeah so that'd be brilliant, thank you. Sweet. Great. Um, Any, anything else? Chisel would be handy, oh, thank yes. you. Here you go, that's fine. Also, I didn't know we had the service, you know, tools, oh. a tool tuck shop. Oh, you know how we roll over here mate. Okay great, thanks. Thanks a lot. Because the way the window's waterproof, you have to take off a few things to put a new window in. They used to just have timber on the sill and their paper would go right up to this point but we've got to have something that goes over the timber and then down which means this comes off a bit annoying but those are the rules so we try and take this off as best we can it's cedar it's soft and the big rose head nails on it kind of you know we either punch them or it usually means you sacrifice a weatherboard and you have to get a new one so a bit of a shame but this matters the main reason it splits that part is overlapping the weatherboard below and then when you try and put a bar under there it just goes like that so we yeah. just punch the nails and uh, hope for the best, yeah. and we hope for the best from there very brittle, though, eh? very brittle very soft timber it's a 190 so this is what I do for like odd items take a wee photo and I draw the measurements on it, 190. It's got this rebate, that's like 12 mil, 32. There we go. So I draw all those things on it and I send it to the placemaker's rep, or I go to the place myself and have this picture handy. Should be able to source some weatherboards. So yeah, hopefully we'll get these weatherboards today or tomorrow, and then we can patch around these windows. It's kind of nice having it open like this, to be honest. Alright. Oh my god. Time to put in the new and improved double glazed stacking sliding window in the same opening. But with all those features, it's going to be a lot better. Put these plastic packers in and then we uh, put a screw. We just make sure that the line is good on the inside. It just has to suit the tiles that are on the inside. Flush down here so we can get an architrave all the way around further down the track when we go to do the kitchen. Eating breakfast, picking up the trees, 
Loving it? That's cool, bro. There we go. And we're going to be raising the level of the deck outside, so this will be like a person to person experience. You know, you could hand over the sausages, put on the barbie, and bring them inside. Wow. Indoor outdoor flow. So, how do you mum? So, how do you mum? Oh, you got to seal it as well. We'll do that next. Incredible. There you go. You always pack it a little bit down further, you know? Further down than you want it because when you screw it up, it uh, flattens, you know? So this is what we do with the, uh, the windows these days. In the past we'd put this stuff in between the jam and the frame. And the idea is that it kind of stops the draft coming through and then you'd put some expanding foam over it just to seal that gap completely but the problem was the expanding foam was expanding and pushing this into the cavity and window area and creating problems so they've updated it so we have to put silicon on it now it doesn't expand but it seals the gap it's kind of crazy eh? a lot of silicons going in that cap So that's been another exciting episode of Scott Brown Carpentry. Oh, oh. And I uh, hope to see you in the next exciting episode. Well, maybe I'll get a goal. Oh. See you in the next exciting episode. That's it. <laughs>